hits. No runs, but two out there that belong to her. One strikeout and a very bright future ahead. But it gets handed off to the senior from Santan Valley, Arizona. Transfer from Arizona State, where she spent three seasons. This is her second year at Washington. And she's hoping to keep the Huskies in this and keep her career alive. Yeah, Lindsay Lopez, the solo lefty for the University of Washington. Really good curveball, change up and rise. As Alex Connell takes second base on that first and third play. Just a fake by Sydney Stewart. Gets away. Nice job by Stewart to grab that. 1-1 one, one count, but Missouri has struggled with runners in scoring position. Just 1 for 10. Now in their third game of the regional. 1-1 one, one pitch from Lopez. That is upstairs. There's a base open, but you're going to make way for Abby Hay in the cleanup spot. And that sounds like a dangerous proposition. 2-1. That is high. 3-1 and one to Maddie Gallagher. She's got plenty of pop in her own right. Yeah, Lindsay Lopez faced one lefty. Last game, and she did give up a hit to that lefty. But it's not going to get e any easier for Lindsay Lopez with Abby Hay, the red hot Abby Hay on deck. Full count for Gallagher. Hay looking on. It's all straight back. Lopez, first team all Pac-12 in 2022 as a junior. That was her last season at Arizona State. Also, Trisha Ford's last season as the head coach there, now at Texas A&M. 3-2, off speed, and hit up the middle and down! Laird comes in! And it's another first and third. Missouri is up two. The three seniors back to back to back. Yeah, they are playing with some fire today. Just six back on this changeup, just enough to get past the glove of Jillian Solis. Laird scores, Honnold to third, Gallagher on first, and it's Abby Hay. Has already homered today. She has been excellent for Missouri as her freshman season has continued. 1-0 pitch from Lopez. Outside. Let's go back to a big time swing. Dad got it on the camera out in left field. And what a moment, she'll remember that one. Yeah, big first round for Missouri in this game. A solo shot by Abby Hay. She's been red hot today. We don't count. See how aggressive she is here against Lopez. Just one away, two on, Missouri up two. Swinging at it big time. Yeah, that's a good choice by Abby Hay to kind of swing. I know you might be thinking maybe she should have taken a walk. Maybe they're pitching around her. But with as hot as she is, it gives her an opportunity for another pitch. It gives her an opportunity to get a better one that she can that she can swing at that maybe is left over the plate. Brushes that one on the ground in the left field. Another Tiger comes across. Hay will take second. And Abby Hay continues to stay red hot. There's her dad out in left field. No 
Lopez has to lock in here because it's still just a three-run game, but two more Tigers in scoring position. Abby Hay, five for ten, four RBIs on the weekend. Four straight base hits for Missouri. Three seniors at the top of the order. The freshman, Abby Hay, and now the junior, Julia Crenshaw. Shows punt. Runner coming home. Glove flip. What a play by Nelson. Saves a run at the plate. Brooke Nelson, the backhand glove flip. It's just heads up defense right here. Missouri trying to push another one across. Never feeling safe. The glove flip, though, by Brooke Nelson in plenty of time to Sydney Stewart to put on the tag. of note that Brooke Nelson does not wear a first base mitt which you think may be a little bit harder to make that play with and wears more of like a middle infielder's glove and now trouble here for Crenshaw and the tag is made before the run crosses home yeah and that's an excellent use of the first and third play the back pick at first base from Sydney Stewart to Brooke Nelson Brooke Nelson opens the door glove side Chases her back just a little bit. Missouri gets two. The Tigers up three. Two innings to play in Columbia.